So let's just assume we had a strategy that has a little bit of edge, you know, it has a little bit of, of a positive return. Yeah. So, so the way we can simulate this is we can actually add a small number to, to this, let's say 0 0.01. Okay. So each of our returns has zero. And can you see how suddenly we get a positive, um, um, thing here? If, if we add 0 0.02, you know, it's going to be more now. Now you can see that, um, what, what, the, what does that actually show us? Or what do we see here? You could, cause you can see now that the compounding really kicks in when we have a little bit of a positive edge to it. Yeah. And if that edge gets really small, then the compounding doesn't really help us all that much. <laughs> okay. So here we got a small edge, but as the trading edge increases, see, see, I just added like, I just added 0 0.01 to each number. We can see the compounding effect just goes through the roof. It's, it's like incredible, right? And so what this shows us is, you know, that, uh, if, if we, if we analyze trading strategies, there is obviously a big difference between compounding and non-compounding um, um, returns. Usually when we analyze trading strategies, we use non-compounding returns because if we have a reasonable edge, our, our results will look really quite inflated most of the time. And that's often not justified. So let's just say we add quite an edge to it. <laughs> look at this. This is basically uh, the non-compounding stays at zero. And then here we've got, you have to add two zeros to get the percentage value. So it's like um, well over a million percent <laughs> just just by adding more edge to it. Yeah. So so you can already see that 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 adding a little bit of edge to to the randomness will really improve our trading strategies and specifically the compounding of the trading strategies that will over time just go through the roof yeah so compounding is as you know and, and albert einstein i said already said that that compounding is the most powerful force in the universe and we can see this here right like small increase in our edge actually really changes the the compounding and if you if you take the distributions of this they won't look that much different right um, let's just, let's just, uh, let's just plot this. Uh, let's just say R1 equals this. And then, um, let's say R2. We just take off this, um, this bit of edge here, right? And then what we do is we plot the histograms of these two distributions. So we go, um, PLT. Actually, they won't look very, uh, they won't look very impressive. So I just add a few zeros here. Um, just, just to make it, um, a bit better. And so we go plt.hist r1 and we want 50 bins. And then we do the same with r2. And so see here, we plotted two return distributions. So our one is obviously our, our better one. And so you can see what happens is we shifted the mean a little bit to the right. <laughs> it's not, not like a huge amount, but I mean, I mean, in this case it's already quite decent, but if say, let's say we, well, even, even when we have 0 0.01, that already gives us a big improvement. And when you actually look at the difference, even though uh, in the strategy, if we use 0 0.01, we already see that 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 gives us a fairly strong uh, positive uh, edge. When you look at the two distributions, you can hardly see the difference, right? Um, maybe I make this other one, uh, the second one, a little bit opaque, uh, a little bit transparent. Um, and then we see it better. So see, see here, the difference isn't like 
huge. I mean, I mean, um, when you compare them, yeah, you can see it, but but it's not like that obvious. But um, when you when you actually see the results of that small difference, it's quite remarkable. And so, what we've done here is effectively we simulated just a few series of returns, and we use compounding and non-compounding, and just get an understanding of how financial time series actually work. This sort of simulation is really helpful for your deeper understanding of the processes that go on in the background. I just want to give you a few demonstrations of the, the profound um, effects that these little things can have. And, and the understanding of that is just so vitally important.